In this video, I'm gonna walk you through an engine oil and engine oil filter change on the Can-Am Spyder F3T 2021. Everything is color coded. If you get the kit straight from Can-Am, you're not gonna have any issues. You don't have to guess what gasket goes where because some of these aftermarket kits don't color code their gaskets or O-rings. The engine oil plug is a T45. It is not an Allen wrench. The clutch or transmission side plug is actually a six millimeter Allen wrench. Why do they make them different? I don't know. I think it's just to confuse people. I'm gonna allow the engine oil to drain and the clutch slash transmission side to drain, and then we'll put these two plugs in. Just to let you know, the torque spec on a clutch drain plug is 20 newton meters or 15 foot pounds. The drain plug for the oil sump or engine oil is 28 newton meters or 21 foot pounds.
All right, so the cover calls for 18 foot pounds or 25 Newton meters. I'm just gonna hand snug that because I don't have a torque wrench to actually do that with. The filter cover is a 36 millimeter wrench, but if you don't have a 36 millimeter wrench or a socket, you can use an adjustable to get on that and it should come off fairly easy. Dipstick tube, I'll fill it right through there. This model calls for five and a half quarts of oil. The oil this calls for is 5W40, semi-synthetic blend. And like I said, I get this as a kit right from the dealer. And everything you need is right in that kit. And you can get this kit online also. I'll put a link to it down below. So what we have to do now is put the dipstick back in. We're going to have to run the engine for 10 minutes. And then we'll get a good read on the dipstick. Okay, now that we ran the bike for 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and check the oil level. Wipe the dipstick off before you put it in there. Make sure it's good and clean, dry. And it's right on the full mark. It's difficult to see because the oil is so clean, but it's right up there. And that's where you wanna be. Wipe it back down. While the engine is running, while you're warming it up, check your filter housing, make sure it's not leaking, and check both plugs, and make sure those ain't leaking. Once the oil level's where it should be and everything checks out okay, you can go ahead and put the covers back on. These bottom bolts, they're T25s. Now, I just want to tell you, there is one bolt up in here. There's nothing you have to do with that. But when you take this plastic piece off, this just slides right out of the groove. So don't loosen it. Don't play with it. It's just, uh, you know, it keeps the plastic in its right spot. So when you put it back, slide it straight in first. And then you can put cover back on so basically that's all there is to changing the oil and oil filter on a Can-Am Spider F3T I just want to let you folks know that when you take that oil filter cap off make sure you either use an adjustable or a socket if you use pliers, there's a good chance you can damage the cover and it will leak. How do I know? I've done it myself. The first time I did the oil change on this bike, I used pliers and I damaged the cover and had to order a new cover. The other thing is, when you do the oil change, make sure you change all the seals. Every single one of them. I like to buy the kit. I'll put a link to the kit down below it's OEM kit and it has the original filter has all the seals that are color-coded so there's no mistaking where to put what seal you could buy cheaper kits but a lot of these kits that are cheaper have the paper filter and the seals they're not color-coded so you got to kind of guess what seal goes where anyway that's all I got Thanks for being here with me. I appreciate it. You all ride safe and stay blessed. Bye-bye.